So the first step of this is matching so that the bracket, oh, sorry, it has to sit like this. So it'll sit like this, and then it'll bolt in the wall, kind of like that. So I need to make it so the bracket can get past this lip edge. There's already a company logo right there. So I'm just drawing a parallel line right there. So you've got my pencil line there. And if my pencil line's there, that shows the area here that needs to be carved out. So if I just use that to center right up, there we go. So it means I basically need to remove from there to there, just that little lip all along there. How I'm gonna do that is with my Dromal rotary tool. So that's not too bad. It's not perfect, but it'll work. And unfortunately, I've melted all the way through in that corner right there. Um, that isn't fatal though. Now there's different times where I'll use an adhesive to, you know, to help myself. And I'm gonna do that here with this double-sided tape right like there. There we go. What it's gonna do is give me like a third set of hands or a third hand, a helping hand. Okay, so the way double-sided tape works is kind of like with wax paper. Let me just see if I can... I've just trimmed my nails earlier today. It's come back to bite me. Can I get that? No, I can't quite. There's a corner. Yeah, keep coming. Gosh, this is like watching painting dry if you're watching the video. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay. If you look there, okay, and that looks to be lined up. Okay, so that tape is just holding it there temporarily. What I've purchased are some bolts and leg bolts. So these are leg bolts. Oh, I bought three different si or two, two different sizes. I didn't realize I did that. Anyway, there's the leg bolts. It must have been in the wrong bin. Um, this is a bolt here. And the other one is right here. So these will be coming through the holes here. And of course, the matching nuts. So this is the quarter inch drill bit. That's what I'm there we go, that's what I'm using. Let's just get this lined up. Okay, so I can go like this in the center. Okay, and that's through.
Okay, so what made that so easy is this is a wood drill bit. So the tip grabbed into the plastic. Now, you can see here where I've gone through the lid, but that's okay because I'm gonna be making some holes for the, the vapors to get out. Okay, so let's get this attached. And, you know, I really am done with the, the double-sided tape now, so it can come off. Okay, so, put you through, good, and put you through, good, and one will go there, the other will go like that, okay, and they just need their nuts. Oops, that one fell through, that's fine though. Let me just grab it through again. Okay. There's that. Okay, and let me just get the nut on here. Okay, now if you look at what I've just done, this metal now sticks out past the plastic lid. So if my hand's the wall, let's just go like this. If my hand's the wall, this can get screwed in the wall, you know, like that. And completely doable. Okay, so that's this part done. Now, my intent is to use this with the cover on. And why that is, is to contain the mothballs inside there and to make them easy to change. Okay, so what I've got here, I'll just put the quarter inch drill bit a bit away in the, my little pack here. So it's away. Okay, these are 3.2 millimeters, and I've got that backwards for the, no, that's right, 3.2 millimeters right there. That is eighth of an inch. Okay, let me just pop this in here. Good. So I'm a bit disappointed that the the lid split there on me, but that is what happens with plastic. So I'm just gonna make a really simple pattern on here, essentially down the middle. So every half an inch, so be there, there. There, 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 and there. So, okay, one, two. Okay, there's the next one. Okay. And I think there's one more. It's hard to see with the there it is. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see with the green.
that probably is enough to get the smell out and into the room but we could make uh, one more row of these and we could offset it even I think so that's at one inch so this would be the okay so there it is there so that would be there and so we're going to go at the half inches so that's ten and a half on the ruler nine and a half eight and a half and seven and a half okay let's drill those those guys and they'd like to drill the same set on the other side okay so again I'll just do it on the half inch marks this doesn't require a lot of accuracy in these holes what I'm kind of going on is my sort of my general knowledge of materials. Yeah, I remember being up in my grandma's closet uh, where there were these mothballs. And it does make a terrible stink. Okay. Okay, and one more. Okay, there we go. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's enough for the vapors to get out, um, but little critters won't be able to get in here. Okay. So the last part that'll have to happen in the attic is lining this up for the leg bolts to go through the, the holes here and conceivably you could do top and bottom. This isn't particularly heavy, although this is a structural bracket. Okay, and these are the mothballs I've bought. So I just need to get past uh, where this was heat sealed closed. There we go. Oh, of course, they're individually sealed. That's amusing. It does make some sense, though, because the, they lose their effectiveness as that odor is given off. This is a system that would need to be, or will need to be maintained. Um, boy, those really stink. So that's probably enough for to start with. Ironic that they look like candies. Okay. Gosh, that really stinks. This smells so much like Grandma's place, though it's funny. I mean, that's gosh, that's a memory from twenty some years ago. Okay, so little go on like that, and there you have it. Very simple mothball container. Um, the last part will just be my uh, doing a pilot hole. These are leg bolts. I bought them to match the style of bracket I'm using. 
other brackets like a shelf bracket just use a normal wood screw it's not hard to put these in though and you know there's my holes to spread the odor and try to establish a dominant scent to discourage the squirrel that's in my attic right now